Happy Friday, my lovely darlings. I call Friday Dopamine Day. Always have done, because dopamine, as you know by now, is my absolute favourite neurotransmitter, because it's the hormone of motivation and pleasure. And you always get that Friday feeling, it's the dopamine feeling. But some of us are born with very low levels of dopamine. Um, people on the autism spectrum very often have lower levels of dopamine, but most importantly, babies, children born without those levels of dopamine is massively linked to ADHD. The reason being, dopamine gives you motivation, focus, attention, and concentration. So actually, when you think about it, when kids, you know, they're not, we all have a passion, we all have a song. So the way I get kids with ADHD to work with me and allow me in, is I find that passion and we use that in our work because once you've got their passion, their song, their strength, you've got them or rather they've got you and you can help to nurture that and provide the right environment. If I had a pound for every single time I was told a child with ADHD is behavioural, um, I think I'd be a multi-billionaire actually. And that's why in my other work, I love to go off and do my talks and trainings and inset days for teachers, because everybody has a go at the teachers, but actually knowledge like this is not built into their training. So this is what we need to do is get the word out there. These kids are not behavioral and children, they're like wet cement. So, you know, how we shape them and what we tell them is what they become. So if you think, and it's scientifically proven, that if a child is in a relaxed state or playing, if you give them a certain message, that actually rewires the neurological pathway in their brain, which is why I love what I do and why I'm sharing it with you during Corona. And I know it's mad because I'm doing all this stuff for free, but you know what? We're all in this together and we have to give a big shout out to these kids. And for adults who have had a late diagnosis of ADHD, guess what? You weren't willful, you weren't behavioral. It, it was the way your brain was wired. It's a bit like rushing up to somebody in a wheelchair and saying, right you, get out, you're excluded, go into isolation, you know, go into detention because you won't run the 1500 metres. So, because you don't want to. I'm getting a bit fired up. So I'm going to calm it all down with a bit of massage, which is always lovely and a nice way to end the week and begin the weekend. Let's get filled with that dopamine. Happiness, no, sorry, pleasure, motivation, focus. Let's get driven and, you know, particularly for people like me where I'm working on my own, isolating at home on my own, you know, you want to keep that motivation going. That's really, really, really important and part of our survival. And also it's delicious. I love that word, delicious and gorgeous. That's my other one. So today we're flowing with the dopamine. And the two things I'm going to show you on the head, you cannot do on people with epilepsy, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, in the video the other day, I showed you the lovely shampooing one and the squeezy one yesterday. You can do that to get the dopamine going for people with epilepsy, and you can also do it for yourself. And what I'm going to show you today, although people with epilepsy can't do that, if you're isolating on your own like me, um, or actually to empower the kids, put them in charge of, you know, how you're working and why it works. You never know, you might be growing a future neuroscientist or, I don't know, just an amazing person because you're believing in them and flooding them with this motivation and pleasure. I must stop talking with my hands. I feel like I should sit on them, but I need them to demonstrate. Anyway, I'm going to demonstrate on me and then on a cushion so that if you're isolating with other people and it, you know, if you've got somebody, oh, I tell you what else is really wonderful for mental health. Fabulous for that. Anxiety, depression, you know, um, long-term mental health challenges, get that dopamine going. 
because it's like oh the most beautiful natural high if I, I can say that that that's what it's like so the what we're basically doing is the other three um, happy hormones and coping chemicals are made and stored in the pituitary which in massage you access through the temples Dopamine is made in other areas of the brain, it collects in the hypothalamus and it travels up the sides of the head. In massage it's known as the parietal lobes. It's just the sides of the head, it's easy. And so if I show you on a cushion, if you imagine this is a head, a round head, and not a square fluffy head, a round head, you're basically following the path of dopamine which is up the sides of the head to this point here which guess what that does it stimulates melatonin which actually regulates sleep mood and aggression levels so you're giving it the whole shabam today so uh, a lot of people with ADHD mental health you don't sleep very well so give that a nice you know gentle massage because you'll be in a wonderful mood and you'll be sleeping like an angel for the whole weekend right so here we go so here's my round head and you the path of dopamine is starting deep in the hypothalamus there and traveling up the sides of the head you go to that center point there for melatonin you've also got more here to stimulate it and then you go down either side of the crown. I never do anything really, really stimulating right on the crown because it's the meeting in, in China, traditional Chinese medicine, it's known as the meeting of a hundred pathways. So in other words, it's the beginnings and endings of lots of meridians. So you can send someone into overload. I never do anything stimulating on the crown on anyone. So the path you're doing is you're going from that bit there the vagus nerve, which also pushes the dopamine up into the brain. I love how our bodies are made. It fascinates me all the time. All these things I learn. So you're going up like this to that melatonin point and then down either side of the crown. Incidentally, while I remember it, currently right now, just in one prison alone in the UK, 30% of the inmates have ADHD. Now, what does that tell you? All their lives, they would have been given those messages of you're willful, you're behavioural, you're naughty, you're excluded. And actually, when those children then reach adolescence, they're way more susceptible to peer pressure, getting involved in gangs and substance abuse. So I'm not saying that all of those 30% of those people in one prison were just, you know, misunderstood. Some of them were probably really, really naughty, genuinely, but that wouldn't have been because of ADHD. That's, that's, I'm gonna stop ranting now and show you. So, basically, this first one is a bit like clapping. Whatever you do, don't clap though, because you'll give someone a heart attack because they'll be all relaxed. So you're literally following a path like this, up the sides of the head. So if you're doing it on someone else, this is the path you're doing and you don't break contact and your the sides of your hands are on the scalp. You should feel the scalp moving. I'm going to do it on me now and make my hair look gigantic and messy. Ready? So it's like that. And then down the back of the head and you just keep doing that round to the temples. Get the other three hormones going while you're at it. Coping chemicals and happy hormones. Let's have a fabulous weekend. So give that a good going over. And then down the middle. And you could do this as many times as you want. So if I was doing it on somebody else, I'm going like this. And if you imagine it's just like clapping, then it's easy. Clapping, but not your hands aren't meeting. So it's like that. And it's the sides of your hands. And then you can go in deeper. And absolutely, party time is coming. So you use your first two fingers, because they've got the most control and the most power. And you're following exactly the same path again. Like two capital D's back to back, or two half moons back to back. 
that's the path. So again, I'm going from either side of where the vagus nerve begins there. That also keeps heart rate and blood pressure low, as well as surging the brain with blood, oxygen and dopamine. Oh my gosh, I love them. And you're going like this. So right in the roots of your hair. If, you're, if somebody's got really long hair or dreadlocks, if you need to take your fingers out, take your fingers out. It doesn't matter. If they're bald, you'll want to give their head a big kiss because it'll be so easy. Anyway, this is what you do. Here, I'm showing you on the cushion. I'm tucking everything, fingers and thumbs in, just these two. You're following this path and it's deeper. So you're really on the temples, on that melatonin point, sleep, mood, aggression, back down the head. You're balancing left and right sides of the brain too. There we go. I'm going to do it on me again. Ready for the worst hair day ever. Good job I'm not vain. There you go. And I'm not breaking contact. And because I'm in the roots, I need to see you, because I'm in the roots of my hair, actually, it's not too bad, is it? See? People always think Indian head massage involves looking like you've been hurled through 15 bushes backwards and forwards. But no, if you've got your fingers right in the roots, you just have slightly big hair, but then to calm everything down, because in massage, whenever you do anything stimulating, you calm it down. So to finish, just stroke gently through the hair. And you, all of this you can do on your cells. You could teach the children to do it on themselves. And it's absolutely bliss, 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 if someone can do this for you. When was the last time we had our hair touched by somebody else? I mean, apart from when you were little, if you were lucky. There we go. And it calms it all down. And now I'm ready for my weekend. And I wish you all a beautiful one. Full of dopamine and magic. <laughs>